Hey guys, here's a tutorial. So as you can see, I've already done the basic sketch. I used drawing assist for the chair to give it some straight lines, but I also had a reference to try to figure out how a chair looks. I try to keep the perspective lines on early. I also like to sketch in red just so I can stay loose. The goal is just to explore different ideas. Jumping ahead, you can see I flipped the canvas, which I'll be doing a lot. I blocked in some main colors and right now I'm just trying to fumble with the cloud shapes. I also laid in some basic lines for the foreground characters, but that'll probably change. I'm also adding some drip from the mega chair as I'm imagining it would do. You can see I'm adding in some lines. I'm trying to keep them blue for the ones underneath the water, but I'll come back to all that later. Here's the references I'm using so far. There'll be more later. When I'm painting islands, I like to just block them in with color and then draw the borders with foam. Try to give them an island feel. I don't know. It just looks good to me. I'm not really used to doing tutorials, so I might just be rambling the whole time. I don't know. As you can see, I'm starting to put in the islands in the background. I'm trying to keep them conformed to the perspective, so really flat and all that. They look really dark right now, but I'll try to add some more blue later. So I changed the sketch of Luffy because I thought it was looking pretty weak. I looked up some references of people jumping and parkour. I thought that might fit better. I don't know. I started with the silhouette first and now I'm trying to draw lines around it. We'll see how that pans out for me. A lot of this can be pretty tedious to be honest. Now for shading sometimes I like to just get a really dark, really saturated color and then just turn down the opacity and use that for all the shadows. Um, it's definitely not correct lighting, but the values are always straight and I kind of just like the way it looks. I love drawing really clear water, like with the shadows of the boats being separated from the boats themselves and the seafloor having little fish and everything on them. I don't know, I always get carried away with that. Here you can see I'm doing the same thing with the chair, just going over it with some blue. I made the chair red to simulate the red line, but it kind of just makes it look like red velvet cake. I'm kind of down with that too though, so I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Skipping ahead further, you can see I really added a lot more detail. I keep messing around with the foreground, but for now I'm keeping it really dark. I like the way it makes the chair pop out. Honestly, I use clouds so much, I need to do more studies of them. As you can see here, I'm trying to add a little cloud spiral that they're falling into. Definitely screams anime. I usually find when I make my best clouds, I'm keeping a healthy mixture of hard and soft edges. At this point in the drawing, I'm usually pretty deep into an audiobook or a long form YouTube video. I try to have periods where I just stay completely focused with no music or sound or anything, but after a while, I just want to zone out. I try to add greens into the water where the sunlight is hitting. I played with more poses for um, Luffy and everyone, but I ended up settling on this. Jumping way ahead, I ended up switching the clouds and the watercolor. I don't know, I kind of didn't like the way it was going, so I redid some of the layers. This usually happens a lot, for better or worse. I love adding little sparkles to the water. But yeah, this is where I eventually ended up at. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Also, shout out to my patrons.